Mr. Praveen Prakash, Prof. Ramani, Prof. Sovik Bhattacharya, Prof. Ayer, Prof. Bani Bhattacharya, distinguished guests, especially those who have come from outside to IIT Kharagpur. First of all, a very warm welcome to this institute. Uh, regarding the topic, you may be all aware that IIT Kharagpur has had a long history of deploying technology for education uh, in terms of our LNET 3L project, video recordings, pedagogy, virtual labs, our contributions to NPTEL, and uh, several others. And uh, today, uh, over the last few years, uh, there has been a massive resurgence in the approach for technology for education. And uh, we are all part of the system who are trying to evolve this to the next level. Uh, for us, the challenge is several. One is how to utilize this to provide scaled, personalized education to some of the brightest and best in the country. Because in, in general, the current education that we are providing tries to treat them as a bulk. And uh, after the level of content that has come up on the internet, I think that there is a, a completely different way of looking at content. However, other than content, if we look at the full life cycle of technology-based education, then the next is delivery. And delivery, I think, is undergoing a massive change in terms of the way people are being delivered education. Uh, and we are on our way to research, and uh, all of us are trying to figure out what are the best ways to deliver education. Uh, so classrooms are, are transforming, as we have all seen, and a lot of excellent, excellent experiments have been conducted for delivering of education. The bigger challenge in the next stage of the life cycle is to try and automate or figure out the evaluation process. And again, uh, you know, other than the traditional evaluation processes, a huge amount of research is going on in the way in which we are going to evaluate from, from the crowdsourcing technologies, to technologies of you know, formal verification, technologies which try to not only identify mistakes, but try to point out concepts of failure and then try to redirect. And I guess that there will not be a single cut method, methodology for, for doing this uh, process. And uh, in my personal opinion, from the discussions that I've had with a lot of people, and from the little participation I have been doing, uh, in, in the evolution of technology-based learning at IIT Kharagpur, I think uh, that uh, we still have a long way to go. In India, uh, we tend to do research uh, uh, based on what research has been done elsewhere. Uh, but we also need to recognize that there is a different kind of challenge in India from which we can learn from the experiences of what people have done abroad. But India itself poses a, a different kind of challenge. And solution to that, I think, uh, requires a lot of effort on our part. The government and a uh, lot of countries, both in our government as well as at the international level, have come up with several policies uh, to implement education. Now, it is actually the onus is on us to try and translate those policies into technologies. The NMEI city, the T4E uh, uh, conference and the other things, I think, is a wonderful forum. And I was just sharing with uh, Mr. Praveen Prakash of our intent to try and develop a paradigm, at least, at least a framework by which we can address the right to education in India. 
If we know that the government has implemented a policy called right to education. Now, the right to education definitely comes up with a framework of responsibilities. And that framework of responsibilities, technologies and research, if we leave it to the McKinsey's and the Deloitte's and the other people to do it, I think that's what tending normally happens. We the educationists and we the people of technology and educational institutions generally fail to address the policy directly. And it is very important that we look at that right to education bill and then see what are the technological interventions, what are the complete logistical interventions that we need to do to implement right to education. And I have offered Mr. Praveen Prakash that we could set up a pilot at IIT Kharagpur to, because we are surrounded, we are very unique. We have an IIT, which is among the most renowned institutions in the country, and we also have some name abroad in terms of our education and research. We are surrounded by some of the very good premier schools, and then you just walk two kilometers outside this, then you have villages, single teacher schools, People not going to colleges. Colleges don't exist except for two colleges. We don't have really good colleges other than IITs. And then you have a whole set of, you know, real illiterates, not the people who can just sign their names. Possibly everybody can, but that's not the point. On the other hand, they are very, you know, the, the NSS work and the other work that we have done around here has shown us that there is a huge capacity of intellect in the surroundings which we can tap. So there is a huge scope for us to implement certain things on the ground. Technology for Education, uh, the uh, international seminar that we are going to do today, uh, is, is very critical for us to first learn from all the experiences that all of us have, not only in India, but from the world over. And I have had some wonderful discussions yesterday with Professor Leitner on, on this topic. But I think it is very important for us to implement certain things on the ground. And implementing it relentlessly is important. Because each of these things takes a lot of time for us to formulate, to implement, and to get the feedback, and then again do it for some more time. And I'm actually very happy that uh, the team of NME ICT has, you know, pursued this with, with great vigor against all odds, because there have been many questions raised about many issues raised about what are we doing, whether we are making an impact or not. And I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to see certain uh, faces and names who have been there stuck in to try and get this through. Uh, and I believe that we must make a much, much more bigger team uh, for us to take this forward. So I think I would request all of you here, other than presentation of papers, other than discussion, and then, you know, we must not just discuss and disperse. I would request that we come up with certain action plans that all of us could try and build up together. And if there is any commitment required from IIT Kharagpur in order to build it, and if you all, all agree that it's a good idea, then you take it from me that it is done. That is, you don't even, you know, if, if our people here more or less reasonably agree, and they tell you that they need to go to the director to get his approval, you consider it done. So I, I would therefore request all of you to please debate on it, come through a process. I have already discussed with Professor Leitner yesterday about certain things that we would like to do through international collaboration. And I will get back to you, Sri Praveen Prakash, on this, on, on what we have discussed and how we can take it forward. Uh, I would also request all of you to let us know uh, about uh, how we can develop a model for right to education and implement right to education in this multifarious environment. And uh, I had requested Professor Gautam Saha, who is here, uh, to 
coordinate that from the, on behalf of IIT Kharagpur. So if you can have a small discussion on that topic and give us some recommendations, we would be very happy to take it forward. And I would also believe that MOOC will become a very, very important and engaging topic uh, here. And uh, uh, I would request you, other than de developing certain pilots for MOOC, we identify some very key research topics uh, which we need to develop. And I would be very happy to see that one or two page uh, uh, action items so that we can take it forward and we can take it forward together. This is such a difficult and important topic that each of us doing it independently is not going to work. It is just not going to work. However, if we work it out together, uh, I think there is a reasonable chance uh, for success. Uh, there will be a lot of critics, uh, but I think we will listen to them and we will try to see whether they are really making sensible comments, but I think we will not leave this agenda behind and we will not leave this ground till we have succeeded. I request you to be with all of us. I request you to take some action items on this and just let me know what we need to do at IIT Kharagpur. Welcome you all to this institute. Thank you very much for coming here. I hope you also have a look at this institute. Uh, those of you who are coming here, how many of you are coming here for the first time? Uh, so there is a history behind this institute. If you know that this, uh, the history behind this institute was that this was a prisoner's camp. This was a political detention camp for people who were imprisoned during the imperial times. And being a political detention camp, it was actually a camp of freedom fighters in that sense. And I have told people who were here before that my own school teachers spent 15 years in this jail. So I have a reasonable idea of, of how this life was in this jail. And uh, uh, I think uh, you should go around and see the campus once. At least it's not as hot as it would be in the summers. And you can get a little bit of history. I think Professor Bani Bhattacharya will be helping you to know the history of this place. And uh, uh, it is from here that the IIT system started. The IIT system was born out of this place. And today we have a brethren of 16 IITs. And uh, again, I think that this is a good time. The season is good. And, uh, the person who will give you the money is here. Uh, he's smiling and he never says no. So if you have good proposals, he's leaving by today. If you have good, good proposals, please knock at his door and at least tell him to say yes. At least we'll look at it. And if you need me to convince him, just call me from my office. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for your con uh, encouraging thoughts.